the end of the line. This is a busy railway line, just like the one on Sodor. All day long, engines puff up and down the track, taking passengers where they want to go. Once an engine reaches the end of the line, and there is no more track to chuff down, the engine must get ready to head back in the other direction. But before the passengers can chuff off to their destination, there's a lot of work to be done. Let's see what happens when the engine reaches the end of the line on this railway track. The engine is pulling into the last station on the line. Just get off because they have finished their journey. But there are new passengers waiting at the station for the engine to take them back up the track. First, the fireman and driver uncouple the engine from the carriages. The engine leaves the carriages behind and chuffs over to the water tower. This tower holds lots and lots of water to fill the engine's tank. An engine needs water to make lots and lots of steam. Once the tank is full of water, the engine changes to another track. He does this with a little help from the signalman in the signal box who pulls a lever to change the points. The engine toots his whistle to say thank you and chucks to the other end of the carriages. The engine changes back onto the first track again. slowly backs up to the carriages. Now, the fireman and driver can couple the engine with the carriages again. Finally, the fireman shovels some more coal into the firebox to get the water bubbling and boiling ready for the next journey. Lots of coal and lots of water means lots and lots of steam. When the passengers are all on board and the doors are safely shut, the conductor signals that it's safe for the engine to chuff out of the station with a little toot goodbye. Thank you, engine. Have a safe journey. The end of the line is a very busy place on a steam railway.